Okay, now um, happy with all of that. So the next thing we're going to do is put the air filter box back on. So we just uh, we've got the metalised gasket. Now I'll just turn it a bit so you can see. There's the metalised gasket that goes on there, and then these two um, these two spacers which there go on there and then then the air box goes on now just for sake of point with there you go this if we can go up a bit pen that's it only now this this rubber pipe here is the crankcase oil breather and it's very important to get this in the right place now on the top of the carb you'll see the little tag sticks out and this crankcase oil breather pipe just slips under it slips under the tag and that's not easy to see from where you are now, but once you're actually looking at it, it's dead easy. You make sure that's sitting under its little tag on top of the car, and then that pipe, when you come to put the car back together, that little pipe goes through that hole there and pokes into the air filter box. So important to get that all sorted properly. So there it goes through the, this little hole, feeding that over the spaces, and there we have the air filter box on as it should be and then this little bracket there goes on and then the uh, the nuts can go on so we just pop them on there we go. so it's got them on there and then just uh, Tighten those up. That's it. And then what you want to do at that stage is just check that this governor arm is moving freely because if you've got that pipe in there wrong, it will jam on the linkage up the top. So that's all moving freely as it should be, so that's fine. Uh, so, <coughs> um, of course I forgot to get the air filter, <laughs> but we'll put that in last, so that's fine. We'll just, we'll just pop, this, uh, we'll pop this air filter cover back on for now, and we'll put the air filter on when we're all done. Um, next step, we can just let this down now. We've got everything as it should be, and that just sits back in its chassis. Can we just zoom out a bit now, Pin? That's about right. That's good. There we go. Now, we can just put those uh, chassis nuts back on. Just go underneath to secure it all. So we just put those on there. Put them on there. There we go, lovely. We'll let it go eventually. We'll just get the, uh, get the zapper on that for good measure. Get those up. Okay, that's got all that back together. I think we're ready to put the uh, to put the case back on. So here is the case, and the first trick in putting the case back on is we want to pull this recoil cord out as far as it will go, and then you just want to stop that from flying back in. So you can either tie a knot there or use a pair of forceps to hold it where it should be. And then we can just take the, the handle and the uh, and the and the start guide and just feed it back up through this little hole. That's it. And then take the forceps off and we can all 
do whatever it wants to do there. Just put that like that. Okay, get this the right way around. So now we just put the, the cover back on there roughly. I'll turn that so you can see what I'm up to. Okay, that little that point there roots around the bottom of the air filter. It's an overflow or something from the tap. And now the trick I was telling you about, there's the, this is the, um, uh, the choke cable and this part, this metal bezel thing on the end goes into that plastic clip on the top of the carburetor I was telling you about. And uh, we've got it in there, hard to show you in the video, but it's there. And then the cable goes through the slot in the top of the choke lever there and the spring goes at the front. So on that uh, on that round bit on the uh, on the choke uh, actuator, you've got uh, a little kind of uh, countersunk sort of indented bit on it. Well, that indented bit goes towards the front, and the spring goes in it. Okay, so you've got the choke lever bit, the spring, and then the cable end there. So there's no way the spring goes behind all of that. It goes in front there, like that. Let's just have a, a zoom in on that so you can kind of see. Get as close to that as you can, Ken. Just zoom right in on that so people, because so many people get, that's it. There we go, there, there, so I'll point it out to you. There, like that. Okay, if it don't look like that, it's wrong. And you see, there's the little, uh, there you go, you can just about see it there. That, that little uh, sort of indent or drilling or whatever in there, there you go. You can see it well enough that the spring just goes in there. Got to get that bit right. Okay, we can zoom out now. Okay, so then we just uh, 